wish my mum could see this. Uh, look, you've heard all the speeches. I don't think the tote can be saved, but I do think live music in, in Melbourne can not only be saved, but can thrive because, because of what's going on. Um, I wish you could all come in the pub to, today and tonight. Um, you can't. <laughs> I have to tell you, I think the people inside are actually wishing they were outside. Uh, uh, but that's Why their that problem. Um, what, well, what we need you to do is, th this has been way beyond what anyone could imagine. This has had an effect, it's had an incredible effect. What we need to do is safely disperse and... Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Okay. There was over 10,000 people names on the Save the Tote website. Triple R, Bixie, what a legend on Friday. ABC has been inundated with supporters of the Tote. The state government, I've got to tell you, in the discussions that I've had with their representatives on Friday, are really buckling at the knees. Because by taking on Bruce, by taking on the Tote, but most importantly by taking on you, potential voters next November, they're playing with fire. And I am convinced that this campaign continues, we can save not only future live venues, but even the toad itself, hopefully. <laughs> because at the end of the day, this is about money and votes. And they will never touch the Crown Casino. But they're quite happy to kick this type of place. And it's wrong. And if you want to get beaten up on a Friday night, or on a Saturday night, you don't come to the toad. Go down to King Street. Go to your Crown Casino.